that's my thing, Nicki Minaj, right? How you saying that I got ragged by Riley when there is so many footages of that night, every single angle, and where am I getting ragged at? How you say that I was the, the wild animal, that I attacked you, that you was mortified, that you was humiliated, playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? You lie so much, you can't even keep up with your fucking lies. I thought you was the victim. I know what this footage of. You standing on the wall talking about, I'm standing right here, Miss Chung Lee, the street fighter. Get the fuck out of here. And since you want to bring that motorsport shit up again, I'm glad you brought it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute. First of all, you changed your verse two or three times and the day before we were supposed to do the motorsport video, you turned in your last verse of it. And I was not feeling of you talking about, oh, if Cardi the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi, following it up with bitch who my son goes sit on a party. Bitch, you're not my coach because you never helped me to get in this fucking career and I'm nothing like you, so you, I'm definitely not your fucking son. I'm a real ass person. You not. Now let's talk about how you barked at your managers because they got the because you and GZ got the same management and you barked at them because they gave me the no limit record, which they presented to you first, and you didn't like the record. You didn't believe in the record. Nobody actually believed in the record. Me and GZ, every single time that it climbed up the charts, we was extremely excited. And you barked at your management because they gave me the record. And that's fucking bad. Then since you're talking about suing and shit because you claiming that Riley beat me up. Sis, I don't got to sue nobody because of a fight. I'm a street bitch. That is called snitching, you know? But since you want to talk about suing, maybe I should sue you for defamation of character since you want to claim that I'm using something illegal called payola because you don't understand why I am so fucking successful. Then, let's talk about the league number shit, right? Let Tell me if this don't make sense. How come my phone number got leaked one hour after that altercation at the Harper's Bazaar party? Tell me how Mariah Lynn number got leaked a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I'm not sure when, you know, that whole Gwyneth situation was happening. And Raleigh used to have her number. Jason Lee phone number just got leaked recently. And who had his number? Raleigh. How come everybody that y'all have issues with, that y'all have the numbers in y'all camp, their numbers got leaked? My sister just got into an argument with Raleigh, right? Well, how come my sister number haven't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. How come my new number hasn't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. Isn't that fucking funny? Ain't that shit fucking funny? Hmm. you out here saying that I'm trying to stop your bag, right? But I'm actually helping you get a bag because that diesel deal that you got, yeah, that came to me first. And I had to decline it because I'm already working with fashion brands, you know, which y'all gonna see because there's more than Fashion Nova. Then, that woman like me record, yeah, I had to decline it because I'm doing a lot of pop records so I can't, you know, over-exaggerate myself. But that came to me first. And then they give it to you. Since you say you tired of talking about it, I'm tired of talking about it too. I'm tired of the fucking whole internet shit. I'm tired of the interview shit. If you really want to talk about it, you know where to link me. We could always link up. You know who to reach out. You know we could settle it however you want to settle it. We could talk about it or we could fight it out. I'm with whatever. But I'm sick and tired of that back and forth shit. I'm not doing it. I'm in a good space right now. Let me know what's up. Wait, and then you once said that I never showed you genuine love. And that's crazy because when you pull up all my videos, you see that I'm always showing you respect. Because you're somebody that I listened to ever since I was in high school. And that's crazy to me because I show you respect, but the difference between me and a lot of these bitches, I don't suck your dick. That's the difference. What you need to do is stop focusing on other people, focus on yourself, and focus on your craft because you're out here fucking up your legacy looking like a fucking hater.